Hello and welcome. It's 10 minutes past nine and we are late in starting the webinar because Leanne didn't have any audio. So it doesn't matter how techy you are, um, stuff just goes down. <laughs> so anyway, let's start off on the right foot. You can now hear me, which is awesome. And I am here. So hello, welcome. So Facebook Live, it's changing the way that we do social media. There was a recent update in regards to Facebook that was released on the 11th of January. And let me just share with though what those updates mean. So for base Facebook business pages, we had a 1% organic reach. We now have zero. Basically our Facebook traffic or organic reach is a zero to our Facebook pages. And I know you're probably thinking that sucks. It does suck. But anyway, we've had a pretty good ride for a long time. If we post a post to our Facebook page and it doesn't get any engagement, we will be penalized by Facebook, which means if we have a number of posts that don't get engagement, then Facebook won't even show our page anywhere. It'll be like a ghost town. If you are boosting your post, it's time to stop. I've been saying this for about a year now, but it's now time to stop boosting your post because you're not going to get anywhere unless you have a budget for your ads. So this is where Facebook has 70 million business pages registered. Of those 70 million business pages, 2 million people, 2 million businesses advertise on Facebook. So you can see that we've had a good, a good ride for a very, very long time. And now it's time to actually have some money in the kitty to play with in order to use Facebook effectively. And really, where else could have we been able to get leads and sales and, and showcase our business awesomeness in front of 2 billion people, if that's what your target market is, up for free. We've had a pretty good ride for a long time. So you need to have a budget anywhere from a dollar a day to $2 a day or whatever you can afford. And the news feed is full. So with the amount of businesses that are advertising and the amount of content that's being posted, the news feed inside Facebook is full. So let's have a little look at the details of the facts of the update. So Anna Moray Morris from a Facebook news feed says the space in the news feed is limited. That's fact one. Fact two, we'll show less public content, including video and other posts from publishers and businesses. So that means you and me, baby, we're not getting a, sure, a piece of the pie anymore. Fact three, pages may see their reach, video watch time and referral traffic decrease. Well, we are. There's no may there. The fact is we are seeing that decrease. And fact four, over the next few months, because it takes four months for these algorithms to really take into effect, you'll be seeing a lot more changes happening there. What we do know is video will get less watch time. So this is pre-recorded video, not by, not live video. So don't get confused there. Links to the external pages will be less visible. So if you share a link to a blog post or to your website, it's not going to get any traffic. We knew that for a little while. So um, this is not anything new. It's just a matter of keeping and feeding Facebook and keeping the content inside the, the blue and white pages of Facebook. Fact three, what we know is all posts from people and pages will be impacted. So people meaning you and me with my profile, personal profile, and also our business pages. So the whole lot will be impacted. What we need to be mindful of is feeding Facebook with what they want. So Mark Zuckerberg said that he wants Facebook to be a place where people continue to engage with people, which means you and me with our personal profiles, getting more engagement and conversations that are real time together. So before this all happened, we would say, or it depended on your strategy, obviously, but we would say things like, you know what, if you want to keep your personal profile separate from your business profile, that's okay. You can cross promote, that's okay too. But now the, the wheels have turned backwards to what it was like, I believe, in 20, um, 20, oh, 2006 or 2007 when we were allowed to first uh, have a business profile, there wasn't pages back then in Facebook, where we were interacting and engaging with each other. So what I see happening is that we have to reach out to our friends and our family and get more real-time communication and engagement 
in order to be able to showcase our awesomeness as our business owner. So only 30% of businesses still use Facebook effectively, and I mean effectively in Australia, meaning getting a return on your investment. And the reason for this is that there's a fear of having those horrible negative comments posted as a review. There's also the fear of having, um, you know, being too noisy. How do you make your product stand out? Now, that fear is, is justified because we can't stand out unless we do some strategies, which I'm going to show you today. The other one is that people don't know and don't understand who their target market is. And this always gets, always, always, always um, makes me makes me wonder why like I mean I understand that we want to do business with everybody but really we need to hone in especially when we're using Facebook and, and any other social media you know network for our business we need to hone into the fact that of who is our niche and who is our ideal client because then it makes our marketing with Facebook ads a lot more effective and you will get a return on your investment now the news feed is dead so why bother I get that I was speaking to clients last week who said brand new business how do you stand out so really I think the mindset shift has to come to looking at your Facebook business page as your website so it's a place where even though you may get penalized for not having content that's engaging or getting engagement I think people will still go to your Facebook page to have a look at who you are what you offer and to see if you're actually like active in that space um, so for whatever reason don't let the fat the new algorithm stop you from moving forward with your Facebook page I'm sorry if I'm going really fast I've got so much I want to share with you today okay turn that off now the slide won't go to the next slide do, do, do. where are you slide great another techie issue now it won't let me show you how to it won't let me move over to the next slide damn can I go back, can I go back, can I go forward, slideshow. And if I refresh the screen, I might lose you all. All right. Where there's a will, there's a way. Lucky we know how to do stuff. So what I'm going to do is share my screen with you. So until uh, da -da that works again. So we're just going to pop over here and turn that. Oh, oh, here we go. Now it wants to work. Hello. All right. It's a bit slow. A bit of delay in the internet. So did you know that video is the most popular kid on the block? By 2018, which is this year, video will equate to over 80% of all internet traffic. So just because Facebook's not going to show your pre-recorded videos, don't let you don't let that stop being part of your marketing strategy. Facebook favors live video. So live video gets six times more engagement than uploaded video. One in four people use social media, so your target market will definitely be on one of the platforms. And there are more mobile phones than toothbrushes. Can you imagine that? So obviously sometimes I meet business owners and they feel exhausted and frustrated because they know in their heart that their business is going to help somebody. There are so many amazing businesses out there. It just makes my heart sing. But you just can't get it to happen on Facebook. I get that. Regardless of what you've tried or what you have already done or what didn't work for you, and guess what? I am I absolutely suck at grammar, so let me just point out something here to those that already can see it. Oh, and I can't. I can't. Can I? Can I? There you go. So, yep, see that? Not really good at spell spelling. I really need um, somebody to look after my slides for me. But anyway, regardless of that, I'm going to share with you the easy process that I teach my clients to easily attract ideal, high-paying, passive clients and income to your business. And it doesn't need to take out your whole day to do this stuff. And for those that stayed at the end of the webinar, I'm going to share with you a super duper free tip and bonus. 
So are you ready? The hardest thing is to teach somebody who thinks that they already know this stuff. So um, I'm, I'm going to ask you to have an open mind. I'm going to ask you to actually put aside anything that you've seen or heard about before and I'm going to ask that you actually possibly take action and start your Facebook show and see the benefits in your business. So this webinar is for you if you are looking for more clients, you want to brand your product and services, fans aren't finding you, we know that. Likes are not increasing, we already know that as well. You want to have a complete strategy for your business that works and is easy, mm -hmm, that's what we're talking about. And you want to be so far in front of your competitors that their head will spin and they'll think, where did you come from? I love that when I meet someone they say, you know, where did you come from? Like, wow, it's really cool. So would you like to attract unlimited clients to your business? Yes. Are you already in business and looking to expand? Yes. And not sure how social media works? Mm, yes. Even I struggle with that sometimes. There's so much out there and it changes every moment of every day. You're looking for a swarm of hungry clients that want your product and service? Yes. Maybe you have a networking, you know, network marketing arm for your business. Herbalife, Carney, whatever? Yes. And maybe you just want to make Facebook work for you. I get that. I totally get that. So you're in the right fight, you're in the right place because you'll find if you find Facebook demanding on your time, I know many of us actually spend a lot of time and energy on Facebook, clicking, looking, clicking, watching. You notice the decline in your Facebook activity, you're looking to create an online product, you have a database already. Hmm, that's a good one because you can upload your email list to Facebook. Wanting to reach more people, maybe you just want to stand out and become an expert in your awesomeness of your own field or your business. Be in front of your competitors or use Facebook as a lead generation and sales generation tool, which you can. So your future is created by not by what you do today, not tomorrow. So today we're going to look at how you can make a successful social media strategy using Facebook that's not going to take you a lot of time, energy or money. So a little bit about myself. My name is Leanne Peard. Why did I decide to do this webinar? Well, for me it's about sharing my knowledge, experience and expertise with small to medium business. I know that small to medium business is the backbone of our economy in Australia and, you know, really worldwide. So my thought process is how can I enhance your business with my knowledge and skill? Well, that's why I'm sharing this webinar. I first did a Facebook Live webinar over eight months ago telling people in business the absolute impact that this, this tool, this tool, it's a tool that we can use in Facebook will have on your business. And I'm already seeing a massive, I'm already seeing people that have been watching my videos for a long time now taking action and getting results. So that's what thrives me to do what I do today. But uh, apart from that and apart from everything that I've done, which you can see on the screen, there is one other reason that I really, really, really inspires me. You guys inspire me as a small to medium business owner, but this is the other reason. This absolute bundle of joy called Texas Nash, which is my granddaughter, if I, if I do more webinars, if I do more live videos, if I help more business owners, I know that what you put out comes back to you and I will be able to spend the most amount of time with this beautiful gem of a child and, um, and spend this time with her so that I can be part of her life, which just makes my heart sing. This morning I woke up to this sound going in my head. <laughs> And if you don't know, that's the wiggles, but everyone put your hand up. So that just shows you what a big impact that she has made on my life and I want to spend more time with her. So is that normal or is it a dream? Well, you know, it depends how you look at things. Normal is getting dressed in clothes that you buy for work, driving through traffic in a car that you're still paying for in order to get a job that you need so you can pay for the clothes, the car, the house that you leave empty all day. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Says it all. Okay, so what is entrepreneurship is living a few years of your life like most people won't so that you can spend your life like most people can't. Hence why my entrepreneurial dream is to be able to help every business in the world and also spend time with my family. 
What have I done? Well, you know, we'll go through this pretty quick because I'm already halfway in and I haven't even told you what I needed to tell you today. But I've walked on fire at Anthony Robbins. I've jumped off a 50-foot pole in Fiji. I've broken an arrow with my throat at the Millionaire Masters um, retreat in Sydney. I've done karate chopping. Um, I've spoken on stage with Kane and Jeff and been in um, Fiji with Anthony and Sage. I'm going through this really quickly because I don't I don't want to spend too much time sharing all of this, but you can Google me and find it. I went to the National Achievers Congress in 2013, going there again this next month in March in Sydney. So that'll be really cool to go back to that. Um, spoken for different organizations like Beds Are of Us, um, Suncorp, worked really closely with the guys that create PT Wealth as a business coach for five years and had some editorials done. That's really cool. People that I've worked with, there's a number of different businesses that I've worked with around Australia. So this is what you can achieve. One of my amazing um, ambassadors, Pamela O'Leary, started doing Facebook Lives and she went from no sales to three in eight minutes just by doing a Facebook Live uh, tutorial. Another one of my success from my PT clients had no clients and went to 40 clients in three months by having a strategy based around Facebook. And uh, one of my amazing clients, Mark Nino, Nino, I can never say his name, ranked um, as ranked on page one in Google by using a strategy um, in a very competitive market, Sydney personal trainers. So what you're going to learn today, let's get into the meat of this. You're going to need to verify your Facebook page. You're going to learn about that. You're going to learn about the power of Facebook Live, how to interact with your fans and friends, how video will organic live video will organically place you in the top of the news feed. You're going to learn about Facebook Messenger bots and how they need to be used in conjunction with your Facebook Live and how you don't need to be techie at all to do any of this. It's really quite simple. So I'm just going to drink a water, guys. So why use Facebook Live for your business? That's a great question. Um, sorry, guys, I was just going. I was just going through the notes. Sorry, guys, just to see if you have any comments. So why use Facebook Live for your business? Well, 81% of all internet users watch video and you can provide real-time content like nothing else. I keep saying that business owners have an absolute amazing um, awesomeness inside you and nobody else can replicate that. You are unique. So this is an opportunity to shine in your space. Videos live, live videos are cost effective. You can set up a, a studio or just use your mobile phone and a selfie stick and you can do this for under $100. So it doesn't cost a lot. The overview of the steps. Why Facebook? We've just covered that. Verifying your page. I'm going to show you how to do that if you haven't already. We're going to look at how powerful the live video is, how you can use it. I've got about 22 steps or ideas that I'll share, why you need to use this and the messenger bots. If you haven't heard of Periscope, just to give you an idea of how powerful live, live streaming is, Periscope uh, is the the offshoot live streaming to Twitter. Now there was a young lady in Los Angeles who was a you know up and coming artist, and she couldn't sell any of her paintings. She wanted to sell them, so she decided to use Periscope as a tool to live stream herself painting. What happened was that within moments, they said like a month, she had over 500 million people watch her, her painting, watch, watching her paint, and at the end of the, the live stream or the live show, however you want to name, a, name it, um, she would then offer that painting to the market to sell. So now she's a full-time artist. She just goes live on Periscope, people paint, watch her paint, then she sells her, her, her art. Now she probably wouldn't have been able to tap into that many people without using live stream and she possibly wouldn't have sold that many um, of her artwork or her artwork uh, without, you know, using live streaming. So that's just an example of somebody's great success and Google, um, Google her and find out exactly how she did it. Her name was Amanda Oleando. 
So why Facebook? Look, we already know Facebook is powerful. Yes, it's changed. The algorithms change. We get that. Okay. But what is true, still true is images and videos are very effective. We can tag people in or tag keywords inside our Facebook lives. We can use Facebook for audience and marketing and remarketing and retargeting with live with um, our Facebook ads. We can use pictures to illustrate our point. We can ask questions and we can engage our audience. It's just a matter of being creative and, and thinking outside the box as far as will this content be engaging. There is over 1 billion people that are active every day on Facebook and most people are in and out, in and out of their Facebook profile checking their status updates 14 times a day. When we look at images versus video, video will always be the future of online content. So just think about that. How can you use video for your, your content? People love live content because it's real, it's rewarding, it's, it's entertaining and it's engaging. There is over 100 hours of video uploaded every minute. Sites like Periscope that I just showed you and also Insta Instagram stories and Facebook stories for that matter are great, is a great way to share your live content and it's only there for 24 hours. People are watching 40 years of live video every day. Can you believe that? And when I first started social media back in 2000. Five, the the amount of hours of video that was uploaded every every hour was 35. Now there's 350,000 hours of video that's streamed live every day. A lot of that content's not that great, but let's not go there. Um, use Facebook marketing to target, to ads are cheap. Look, again, we've had a free ride for a long time. If you can get an ad for six cents or a dollar, you're really doing well. You can boost your video to your audience after you've created the live video and I know I said don't boost but the the rules of Facebook have changed. If you have a budget for Facebook ads, let's say well, I'm spending a hundred dollars a month, then Facebook will boost will boost the post uh, to the value of 10%. So if I'm spending a hundred dollars a month on my campaigns, I can then boost a video for ten dollars and Facebook will make sure that it reaches my target market. If you're not greasing the wheels of Facebook and you're not spending any money on your ads or an ad campaign, then when you go and boost your post, which you still be able to, um, you'll actually find that it won't get any reach. You won't get any call to action because Facebook basically says, whatever, we'll just send it out to whoever. So just be mindful of that. Facebook is still rewarding those people that use live video. So if you use live video, then it will automatically go to the top of the news feed. So we have not had that power for the last 10 years as far as getting our business to the top of the news feed. But using live video will allow you to actually do that, which is so cool. Um, people are being notified when you go live. So when you go live, and we haven't even started using Messenger bots yet, people will be notified um, that you are live. So that goes straight to their mobile device and then they will hopefully jump on and watch your live event. 500 friends, friends on your Facebook profile means 500 more opportunities. People can subscribe to your live feed. So at the end of the video, they can push subscribe and be notified all the time when you're going live. And what I just saw this morning is, um, this morning we can now invite people to watch live feeds. So if I'm watching a live video, I can invite my friends to watch the live video if I think it's something that they're interested in. So that is another, another opportunity. So if your page is not ver verified, and this is something that's not new, it's been around for a while, your, your Facebook newsfeed won't show up. Now it's not going to show up anyway, but it needs to be verified to get, again, to be able to feed Facebook. So in order to do that, you need to verify your Facebook page or your profile. To do that, if you click on the settings button, go to general over here and see page verification. My page is ver verified. So on my business page, this doesn't show, but this is a page that I created to show you what it would look like. If it's not there, it means your page is verified. If it is there, you need to click and verify it. Now, if you have any trouble verifying, um, then you just need to go to this help. So I put the little help thing down the bottom here for you and um, Facebook will help you verify. They'll need to, um, you'll need to fill out a form, which is a contact form. You might like to take a screenshot 
uh, there as well and you'll be able to, you know, tell Facebook you're having trouble and, you know, you're not sure whether you're verified or whatever. Then you'll be definitely verified in the eyes of Facebook and then you'll be able to feed, you're feeding Facebook and getting more um, more from your from your Facebook profile, from your Facebook business page. Okay, so now you can also tag up to five keywords in your video. We've got to remember that Facebook is a search engine opportunity. It's the second largest website in the world, so not search engine, but website. So people will search inside Facebook for different things like um, networking groups cans or, you know, massages cans, whatever. Now, when you do your live video, you can tag up to five keywords on your video. So now that will show up in the newsfeed when somebody is searching for it. That is the powerful part of your video as well. Just recently, last week, 21st of January, I did a Facebook Live Business Showcase show with Suzanne. We had over 366 views and I know Suzanne got eight leads. She probably got more than that um, because I haven't checked in with her to see. But just from the messenger bot interaction, we, we saw that people wanted to engage with her webinar service that she was offer, offering and also her new program. So therein lies the power, guys. You know, where else can you put yourself and your business in front of 366, 366 views in under a week? Now, if I chose to, uh, let me just go back. If I chose to actually, um, or Suzanne chose to boost that post, then obviously she could boost the post if she's had a marketing campaign or a marketing budget. And then she can go out and, um, you know, utilize this as content, which will get more leads, obviously. So you can use live from your mobile, from your desktop or your screen, so from your computer. So there's a number of ways that you can use it. There is also another app called Facebook Creator App. And again, if you feed Facebook, I found if I use the Creator App to live stream, you get the lovely analytics in the back end, which is great. Um, and also I found that when I used the Facebook Creator App, I actually did get a spike in organic um, reach and organic in interaction and engagement rather than using the other software that I use um, from another third party company. But it's really quite simple. You open up your mobile device, whether you open it up on your personal profile or your business page, and you'll see the little silhouette with the two rings around the top of them. That's where you push the button to start your live streaming. If you're on your desktop, you will see a button that also says live streaming. So how to be live? Well, the most important thing about being live is you need to have a reason why you're going live. So um, you need to have a strategy around what you're wanting to share. So I always like to theme things. So you might like Monday's madness, it, Wednesday could be wisdom and Friday could be the hot seat, for example. So you really need to set yourself up some content and a show. So what I mean by the show is you need to be consistent. You need to be consistently going live at a certain time on that day, on that week or every day, whatever you're comfortable in doing, and then create a strategy around what you're going to talk about. So you need to be prepared. You need to say the easiest way to do this is to write a list of everything that you know. Um, you know, you might say, I know everything about Facebook and what are the steps that you want to take people on that journey for Facebook? And it might be, you know, how to create a Facebook page, how to do, uh, how to put the information into Facebook, how to connect with like-minded business, how to get your friends, how to invite your friends. So now there's four or five weeks worth of content that I can share live. So we need to be thinking about what you're going to share. It can be impromptu as well, which I often do. Um, but you need to know what you're going to talk about. You need to write a compelling headline to get people's interaction, like, wow, that's something that I want to, you know, definitely watch. You can ask your friends to join you. Um, you can get them to comment in the section below, which means when you're getting people to comment on your live video, that's the biggest thing that we, we can feed Facebook with or for is the, the ability to, to showcase Facebook that we are actually getting engagement. And this is where the messenger bots come in as well. But by getting people to interact in live time or live engagement, you're showing Facebook that you, you are meeting their needs. You can customize a live to, to groups. So if you want to 
broadcast live to your group, you can, or, or somebody else's group if you have permission. You can do it to your profile, to your page, and you can just do it to friends. So you can live stream from your personal profile just to your friends. You can also live stream privately, which is a good way to start um, practicing is just hit over here. Let me see if I can turn the whiteboard on again. So over here where we've got public, um, you just make that private so you can practice with the live streaming there. Okay, next video, next slide. So this is what it looks like on your device. Once you've hit the button, it'll go um, come up to go live. You're going to change the, the status here to public or personal or private or friends, and you're going to write your compelling description, and you're going to hit the go live button. Then you'll be live. Why do you need to use Facebook Live? Well, video is, is the content king queen. We've already covered that. You can edit the video after you've broadcast by adding uh, tags and adding more compelling headlines or more information. You can't edit as far as splicing it. So if you make a mistake, that's it. You just move through the mistake. It's a live video. You can tag the video, as I said. You can put it into your blog. So you can download that video and now you've got blog content. What I do is my live streams go from my Facebook page straight to my blog. I've got a program called, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but I paid $70 for it. It automatically puts the content onto my blog. So now I've, I've addressed two different internet online marketing avenues. You can download it and upload it to YouTube so that you can be found on the front page of YouTube. So let's just say um, you did a live stream on how to, make, how to bake banana bread. Download the video, make sure the keywords are correct, how to, uh, or people are searching for it, how to create banana bread or make, um, bake, you can tell I don't cook very often, how to bake banana bread, Leanne. Um, and then upload that to YouTube so then you'll be found on the front page of Google. That in its own right is powerful. People will be notified when you're going live. It engages your audience when we use bots, and I'm going to go into bots in a moment for you. You can put links to your products and services, backlinks. Now, Facebook doesn't like you sending traffic outside of Facebook. We've already covered that. But you can strategically put them in there and then use that Facebook Live as part of your ads, as part of your campaign, and then you won't be penalised because you're paying Facebook for the privilege, right? Okay. And it's real time. It's the most powerful medium where you can get in front of your audience, your prospective audience, your family, your friends, and showcase your awesomeness and give amazing value. You can be real. You can be authentic. You can make mistakes. The audio may work, whatever. There's always hiccups. Your phone may probably ring as well. Um, but whatever it is, you're showcasing your real, authentic awesomeness as a business owner. And the biggest thing that it does is creates engagement, which goes back to the Facebook algorithm update, where getting engagement, you get real-time people. People will start talking to you on your Facebook Live, which is absolutely amazing as a business owner to be able to talk to people and share your knowledge with them. You get notifications. Like I said, people will get notified that you're going live. Where else do you get that powerful medium where your phone pings and says, Amanda is going live or Chrissy's going live and you're able to tap in and watch that. You're able to embed it into your Facebook website, sorry, your Facebook website, da -da, into your website. You can cut the show up and then use that on Instagram, on Pinterest, on any other social media platform that you're on. And the most important thing is you need to claim your space, claim your show, okay? So what you what you are doing, sorry, I just saw a question from Alicia. So it's okay to boost video, just not written posts. Um, no, Alicia, I'll just answer that question for you. So it's not okay to boost anything anymore unless you have a campaign. So unless you allocate money to the budget, um, then you can boost 10% of your budget. If you if you do boost a post, you possibly see the decline in your reach and also and the decline in actually getting engagement from it. Um, if you've got any different, you know, stats on that, please feel free to share. That's just what Facebook has said. So it's time to claim your show. 
So there's a couple of people, if you're a bit skeptical about, well, I don't know what to do, don't know what to say, well, have a look at the Facebook Lives that are online at the moment. So there's a really good one for Tough Mudder Live. Obviously, these guys are actually showing you how to exercise. So it's got an audience of 124,000. Another one that's really good is Benefit Cosmetics. I couldn't get that screenshot to work really well, but these girls talk about, obviously, you know, cosmetics, so they're really good too. Um, there's another one which I love when I was training, uh, coaching the personal trainers um, was Belinda Ben. She does a great live video every day. So go check out her and just see what she's doing. And if you don't know, um, I do a live feed every day too. So check out my page. Now, there is under Facebook live videos. You can find it on your phone. You can find it from your um, device when you're inside Facebook. But if that, if you can't find it, just Google Facebook live map and you will see a real time live map of who is currently live in the world. And the different size of the blue dot indicates the audience. So when you hover over the dot, you'll see streams of um, let me see if I can draw on this again for you. You'll see streams coming out from the blue dot like this, which shows you where the audience is from and what are they actually watching or where are they watching from. What is really amazing and it always blows my mind is little old land down here called Aussie, Australia. There is hardly anyone ever live. Well, what does that tell you guys? That tells me as a business owner that I can get in front of my competition and I can master Facebook Live even if I do make a few, you know, hiccups or a few mistakes, but I can get in front of my competition and give great value to my audience because they're going to be watching you. The other thing is um, when you do click on the map, you will probably see the Oyster Lady. Now, she... Just amazing. Check out the oyster lady. She sits there and chucks oysters, shucks oysters, um, and talks about the pearls and the oyster. And she has an amazing amount of um, views every day watching her shuck an oyster. So anyway, go check out the map and see who's on there. And the other thing is too, you can use this to your benefit as a business marketing tool. If you find people in your own niche, you can actually comment live with them. So it puts you in front of their audience. That's a little tip for today. So let's have a look at a few streaming ideas because you're probably thinking, oh, I don't know what to do, not sure when. Um, yeah, really not sure what to do. I'll come back and answer the questions. I've turned my answer chat on, sorry, and I shouldn't be looking at it. I'll come back and answer you guys' questions in a minute. So let's have a look at a few ideas. Host, a, host and broadcast a live event. So you could, I do the business showcase show, so I'm hosting a live event to broadcast other business owners. You could use it for a customer service line. You can allow customers to tap in and ask you questions about your product and services. You can use it to hold impromptu chit chat. So you just might get on there and say, hey guys, been thinking about, you know, um, if something, I don't know what subject comes to mind. Um, and what are your thoughts about this? So you can have, you could do that really well from your personal page actually, which, you know, brings back into that people and engagement. You could do live how-to sessions, so how to create a Facebook page, how to do a live event, so how to um, how to bake a banana bread, whatever. You can offer special special content I offers, so you could do a, a live event, and at the end of the live event, you can say, "Hey guys, for you guys today only, you can get ten percent off this." Now I know Matt and Alicia did this on a Facebook live that I did with them last week, where they gave away a free hour and a fifty dollar discount. So you can do that sort of thing. It's great for competitions as well, you know. Um, I've had competitions where I've incorporated my bot and said comment on this to go into the competition to win a ring light. It's great for product launches. So if you've got a new book or you've got a new product that you want to launch, you can create hype around the launch. Um, and then on the third day, the fourth day of the week, whenever you decide to launch, you can then launch that product at a, at a discount or a special offer. You can do a webinar inside Facebook Live. So the only reason I'm not broadcasting this inside Facebook Live is because I want to use this content for my uh, membership area. So you're going to host a webinar. The only thing about 
using Facebook Live for a webinar is you can't go backwards and forwards from your live streaming. So for example, if I turn um, turn my little camera back on so you can see that I'm still here recording it live, you can't switch backwards and forwards. Once you go to the webinar or your PowerPoint presentation, that's it. You can't come back and interact live. But webinars are a great way. 65% of marketers use webinars as part of their marketing strategy. So again, another opportunity to showcase your awesomeness as a business owner. Giveaway and contests, like I said, you can go live and say, hey, comment below to go into the draw to win this. Um, use it as a website. So do a live event and send traffic back to your website, which is an option. So again, this would be part of a paid strategy, not a, not a free strategy. But there's nothing stopping you from saying on the live event, hey, go to my website at www.whatever and download my free ebook. So that's a strategy you could use, just don't type it. Then you can do a product live daily. So have a, have a theme. So there's so much content out there. You can have today's Motivational Monday, tomorrow's, you know, Tuesday quotes. You can engage in riddles. You could engage in, you know, um, all sorts of different games. You know, can you spot this? Whatever. So you could, you could launch that every day. Post daily by having um, themes and motivational quotes, and that's a duplicate of the slides. So let's just move on, Leanne, typo there. Um, you can podcast and bro broadcast simultaneously. So what I mean by that is when I go live, I often have three devices. I have my laptop, my iPhone, and my iPad. So I'll broadcast to Instagram stories live, broadcast to Facebook Live on the laptop and on the iPad I'll broadcast to Periscope. So that's another way to, or Instagram, sorry, Periscope is Twitter. So that's another way to broadcast simultaneously to multiple different live platforms. And you can actually, you know, watch the engagement and talk to everybody. It's really powerful. You can host a live party. So if you've got a launch, um, I've seen this done quite really well actually with multi-level marketing companies where they've got products so you can have a, a live party where you create an event you invite others to join and then you get onto that event live and you broadcast um, and give away promotions share your product etc you can answer have a q a so um you can just have like i'm going to implement a hot seat friday so i'll just invite anybody random onto the hot seat to discuss their business opportunities or their business issues or you know their social media concerns and we will nut it out for them live um so that's another way as well you can check your past live events for questions and answers and then you can talk about it so you can chat about the q a's from past events you can do a live interview like I, I'm doing with business. You can invite an industry expert in or interview your peers in, or even your, you know, your amazing clients, interview them and, and get their experiences, which AKA is now a testimonial. You can hold a class, a mini class or a challenge. Um, I did 21 days to social media success last year. I went live for 21 days and gave tips and it was actually a training event. Hey, Carol, no worries. Carol just said she's got to go. Carol, you'll get a replay to the event anyway, so um, you'll be able to just come up to this line and thanks for joining me. We'll talk to you soon. Um, behind the scenes is another great way. So get your phone out, showcase staff members, showcase birthdays, showcase what's going on in the back end of your workplace. You know, like if you're a mechanic, you might say, hey, you know, I don't know a lot about mechanics, but pulling out the spark plug here, um, you know, this is really dirty, whatever. I'll, I'll just, uh, I'll let you use your imagination there, but it's great to showcase what's going on behind your scenes. Hot seat, already mentioned that. You invite a guest and solve their issue. Um, and a sneaky look at a pre-launch. So if you've got something that, um, a product launch, you can do some sneaky behind the scenes like, you know, I'm creating the webinar or I'm putting the, pro the product, product together or I'm making my beautiful um, face mask, whatever it is. You can broadcast a sale. Now, I've noticed when I'm looking at the Facebook Live map um, in the overseas market that a lot of them are doing that um, 
TV, I don't watch TV, but you call it the tele, tele sales. So they're doing like live streaming on an actual product or service and selling it. So, hey, that could be a thing that could work for you too. You could have Product Friday, which could be where you're just showcasing and not doing sleazy selling, you're just showcasing and giving them the opportunity to buy. Another thing too that you can do, I haven't mentioned, but you can do Facebook audio live, which means you don't need to get in front of the camera. You can just live stream audio, which is like a podcast. You can use it as an opportunity to seek feedback from your peeps, you know, or from your client base or your potential clients. You can share breaking news. Guess what? You know, like Sam did this so well last week, you would have seen it on the news, um, Sam from Scorpion Marketing. He was in the right time at the right place where the crocodile ended up in the back of this gentleman's yard. So he was able to get the footage and share that as breaking news, which went viral for him. Sorry, guys, just having a drink of water there. The easiest way to put this all together is to create a theme. So pick a time, a day, and a broadcast to um, create your Facebook Live event. So my theme was, and it's changed a little bit, but I would go live at 7 o'clock every day last year. Monday was madness, was breaking news, tips, and Tuesday was Tuesday's toolbox with tools and tips. Wacky Wednesday was where I went a bit weird with my Dr. Seuss hat um, and did talks about mindset for business. Thursday was Think Tank, so we use that as a strategy session on what you need to do and how you're going to move forward. And Fabulous Friday was a how-to session. And then, of course, I added in my five-day challenges as well. So that might be too much for you, and I understand that, but start with one. So think about one day that you don't have a lot on that you could then go live and create that awesome audience to engage with you. So any questions? I'm just going to quickly look through here as we're going. Um, so Sue said, what, did, what do I mean by being penalised? So Sue, when you do a post on Facebook now, if it doesn't get any likes, comments or shares, Facebook will actually penalise you and not show your Facebook page to anybody. So if we can get any further down the news reach past zero, I can only imagine that there's this negative reach. <laughs> doesn't make sense, but you won't be um, getting any engagement. That's why it's really good to go live because people will see you in the news feed because it will be organically pushed up and you will get engagement because you're going to ask them. You're going to say to them, hey, like my like my video if you like it or, you know, do you have any questions or, you know, share what your thoughts are so you're able to have that real-time engagement. So um, hopefully that answered your question, yeah. Okay, so let's just have a quick look here. So now it's your turn. So now it's your turn to think about, you know, who is your ideal client? What um, what can your Facebook Lives be about? What time do you have to commit? The most, the hardest part of doing Facebook Live is actually committing. So you need to set a time in your diary and say, Monday, 7 o'clock, I'm going live. If I'm going to take the kids to school at Monday at 7 o'clock going live, I'm going to have the, the Facebook um, Live on my dash cam and I'm going to be talking to you with the kids in the back of the car, whatever it is for you, but you need to commit. I remember Gary Vaynerchuk, he's a world-renowned marketer now. If you don't know him, go check him out. Um, but he started his fame by, by doing a live, not a live, sorry, a broadcast on YouTube. I think he started it in 2008 and he said for the first 12 months he didn't have anybody watching his show. So this is very similar. You need to go live. If no one's watching you, that's okay because people will pick it up in the replay. So what you need to do is address them and then welcome everybody as if they are there because people will watch your replay and you will get interaction and engagement. So keep doing it at a particular time, at a particular, um, you know, on a particular day and commit to the success and what should happen. And when will you start? So if you think that you're able to start this week, leave me a message in the comment section because I'd love to come and hang out and watch your live show with you and give you some engagement. So if, it, if you think this is you, if you say, yes, I can do this, um, then please feel free to, to put some comments in the, the chat and I'll definitely come and watch your live event for you and support you. 
So look, it really is easy. This is my easy peasy Facebook content strategy. So creating content for Facebook doesn't need to be hard or time consuming. So let me just recap the steps. Create a theme about what you want to do. Is it education? Is it training? Is it Q&As? It's interviews, etc. Schedule a time each day and week to broadcast your live event. Share with your email data list or your database or any other social media platforms that you're going to, going to go live. So if you've got a database of clients, send them an email and say, hey, don't forget about my live broadcast at five o'clock on Friday afternoon, whatever. Go live, talk about your topic, share your, save it to your device. So when you're finished, you can save it to your device by right clicking um, that, save the video URL. So now you've got it to your phone, which you can upload to your Facebook, to your YouTube, to your blog, whatever. Go to a place called rev.com, share the URL. It'll cost you $1 per minute and you will receive a transcript, transcript of your video which now means you have a blog post and a video so you've got two pieces of content you can now use that transcript on facebook notes to sh um, showcase your blog or your story go to facebook go to m.facebook.com insert the url of your live and this will allow you to download your facebook live from your pc if you forget to actually save it like I said, upload it back to um, YouTube.com using keywords for search engine optimization like how to bake banana, banana bread. And then save the original video, right? Break it into 10 second videos, which you can do with some apps on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. And now you're sending traffic back to Facebook. Voila, easy as strategy for you. Bonus tip, set your status to public and share the link to your business page and now your life on both. You could share the, the link to groups that you've um, been in or you're involved in. Oh, welcome, Chrissy. Chrissy's going, watch the replay, Chrissy, at the end. Um, and then you're live on multiple platforms as well. So messenger bots, we need to tap into this very quickly. I know I've been keeping you for just um, over an hour now, so I'm just going to have a quick drink of water. Messenger bots is the ultimate only marketing tool with Facebook Live for 2018. Everybody's heard of emails. I have at the moment, let me have a quick look, I have um, 3,600 emails sitting in my email box that haven't been opened. So uh, even though email marketing is still very effective, you'll still get a 10 to 20% open rate, which is great. Messenger bots have a 99% open rate. The minute the phone goes ping, people will open up the message on their phone. It is a great marketing tool for customer service to build a list so when they opt in or they message you, now they're on your list like your email marketing list. It's a great way to send them information about sales. Um, it's a great way to tell them that you're going live um, at three o'clock tomorrow afternoon. It's a great way to send them free links all from their mobile device. And it's a great way to actually broadcast what you're training like webinars or anything else. And it's extremely easy to set up. 99% of all messages are open on your mobile device, like I just said. And the one that I use is called manychat.com. It's free or you have a professional option at $10 a month. Either way, the only difference between free and the message and the paid event is only a couple of very small tools. Now, I'm just going to quickly, while you're watching that screen, jump into ManyChat so I can show you what it looks like. Oh, actually, here's something I prepared earlier. So this is your ManyChat dashboard. So it's very, I guess at the moment you can see uh, between the last few weeks, I've got 84 subscribers to my list. Now, from the buttons on the left-hand side, I can see my audience here. Um, so I can actually, I can actually see my there's my dashboard, that's what we're on at the moment. I can click the audience button and I can see who is actually subscribed. I can live chat to them if I want to. Growth tools and the broadcasting are the most powerful um, components to this. This is where you'll set up your, um, and actually I'll see if I can go live and show you. Um, this is where you'll set up your engagement for your Facebook Live. So. Let me just quickly see if I can share my screen with you. Um, um, um. 
no application window so I'm going to turn that one off where is the dashboard okay so what you should be seeing now I'm hoping is my no you're seeing that you're not seeing the right one okay let's just go back to the slide and I'll explain it so when you go through growth growth tools growth tools um, no it's not going to work sorry guys I wanted to show you, I wanted to show you that's it on okay I'm gonna share that one so hopefully if I turn that off no no it's not working I can't show you it's gone a bit haywire Anyway, so from the dashboard, and now I've lost my PowerPoint presentation. I tell you, I tell you, it couldn't get any worse today. Anyway, so from the dashboard of ManyChat, um, let me see if I can pull this one up for you. Love technology works great when it works, and when it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So let me see if I can pull that up for you. Okay, so yeah, anyway, that's part of it. So from the from the growth tool, all you need to do is select growth tool, you select the post or your live event once it's started, and you're able to get engagement straight away on that on that um, post. You'll see many of my live videos, I'll, type, I'll ask you to type the word training, um, which is creating comments and likes on that post, which is great for Facebook. You're able to um, get them to give them others live events I've had. I've said type the word kiss in there and then I've actually given you a copy of my strategy book, my, my uh, social media strategy book. So all this can be done in the back end. What I might do actually is I'll do a Facebook Live event on how to use the Messenger bot and I'll go into the back end of that. So that way we'll actually um, get to see it. Um, it's just not working here now for me. And I've lost my entire PowerPoint presentation. So let me just... Um, Play that for you okay so live and messenger so what does it do it integrates your live show with a messenger bot with which is a call to action it creates engagement it increases your organic views which was what you want gets people on your list so you can continue to market to your clients so really it's a no-brainer if you don't use the paid version and use the free version it still will work for you extremely well so your live strategy 2018 and messenger strategy will look something like this you'll have your live which is your content you'll have your bots which is your engagement and you'll have a list which you will continue to market to um, those people that are on your list so we've covered a lot today's so I know guys really really apologize for the malfunction the techie stuff but we have covered why you should be using Facebook how to verify your page, your mentions or your creator's app versus going live to your desktop or your just your mobile device, how you can best use it for you and your business, more importantly, why you need to do this. And I'll do an update on the Messenger bot training. I'll do that um, possibly tomorrow, if not Monday. So I know you've got a lot of information from me, right? If you haven't done live streaming or videos, it can be a little bit overwhelming. And what can you do about it? Is it okay for me to share an opportunity that will make this happen for you a lot easier now? Is that okay? Cool. Thanks. What I want to share with you today is my Facebook Live Marketing, Mar Marketing Mastery Program. It is a program that is going to be live, which means you and I are going to work together live. It's not pre-recorded. It's not something I've already made. It will start in a couple of weeks and we will build your strategy together. We will be able to look at your Facebook page. You'll get an audit and we'll look at verifying and we'll also make sure that your content on your page is search engine optimized. We will have a look at strategizing your live events so we will build a content calendar together. We'll have a look at what equipment you have and how, how you can buy more equipment if you want to become more professional. Um, for under $100, mind you. If you have a fear of being seen on Facebook or just in general, I know the very first time that I actually went live, I froze because I don't know what it was. It was just like this, wow, people are going to see me for who I am now and, and it brought up some stuff 
for me, whatever it was. But if you want to get over that, I'll show you how to do that. We will set up your bot so it will be automated and you can easily go in at any time and broadcast or create a growth tool and even show you how to use landing pages, which is another way you can save money if you've been using lead pages. And then the last one is where we'll integrate the bots with your live on a Facebook group and we will all help each other and give you feedback so that you'll look absolutely awesome when you go into your first live strategy. Now the total value of that is $1,782. You'll also get full support from me. You'll get one hour, one-on-one -on -one coaching with me on your Facebook Live strategy. You'll get three months email access and you'll also get access to the Facebook group. You'll get six webinars, one hour Skype and access to me as well, which is a value of $3,282. One of my clients, Steve Bridger, he's, um, I don't coach him anymore, but it was an absolute blessing to be part of this journey with him. He is still making, I believe, more than this at the moment. But when I was coaching him, he was making over $21,000 a month from Facebook, selling, selling a $39 program without any live tools. And I also want to reward you if you decide that you want to work with me today with some awesome bonuses. Bonus one is we're going to look at who your target market is. I know that this is a mistake many business people make by talking the wrong language to the wrong people online. So we're going to have a look at who that is and we're going to build that together. You'll also get some amazing interviews I've done with some amazing peeps. You might know these guys already. Ivan Meisner is the owner of BNI International. Jason Urbanez from Create PT Wealth. Megan Bayless, you might know her, and the amazing Bradley Rootsy. You'll also get the business templates today. I'll give you my one-page social media business plan, a social media content diary, social media quiz so you can work out where you should be, a social media strategy, and the business online blueprint. So here's what you're going to get. The webinars, the session, the three months unlimited email access, the dream client, the interviews, and the social media templates. All values at $4,173. Can you do this another way? You sure can. You can be like me. You can buy a lot of online programs which actually don't tell you Jack, Jack, you know who he is. Anyway, um, and here's some that I've bought which I've been really, really disgusted in the fact that they don't actually train you anything. They just tell you. They don't train you. The fact is there's no comparison. I'm going to train you how to do it, not tell you what you should do. I'm going to train you. You won't pay that much today. I knew you knew that was coming. Um, the reason I want to give this to you today is because I want your success to be my success. I want you to be on my business showcase show. I want to partner with people around the world who really want to make a difference in their business. I want you to dominate your space. I don't want you to wait till my videos is a common thing and you sit back 12 months time and go, yeah, I should have done that. Well, now is the opportune time to do it and to do it properly and to get in front of your peeps and your potential clients. And after today, I'm going to double the price of the package. So this is the value that you're getting for only $297. Like I said, it's actually, it's going to be live. We'll be working together. I will be answering your questions. I will be talking to you. We will be navigating this together. And it's only going to be for a small group of 20 people. Because if I take on any more, then I can't help you to the maximum benefit that I want to help you today. You'll also get the mega bonus training of Facebook marketing, LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter, which is what I teach my social media managers. So guys, all of that, $297, I'm not doing the hard sell. It's just what it is. It's an opportunity for me to help you. There's a 30-day risk guarantee. If you get through four webinars and you go, this is absolute crap, I'll give you money back. I don't care. Not, not particularly worried. I want people that want to succeed. So if that's you, that's you. Now, how do you get access for that? Oh, the, the good free stuff at the end. I nearly forgot. So I have a social media stuff group. Um, when you join that, you will get the ebook, which I mentioned before, which shows you how to set up your social media strategy. So pop over to social media stuff, join the group, and you'll get access to the ebook. If the link doesn't work for whatever reason, that's cool. Um, just send me a private message. So, guys, um, have we got any more questions that you would like? to have or you'd like to share. If you want to get access to the class, um, it actually isn't showing on my screen either. It should be there. 
it should be on your on your chat bar. If it's not there, just send me a private message and um, I'll come back to you and send you the link on how you get access to that. But it should be there. Anyway, if it's not there, it's not there. But from the bottom of my heart, I just want to say thank you very much for spending an hour of your time. I know we're all busy. I know that we have stuff going on that we need to go to and attend. I just want to say thank you so much for joining me on this webinar. Thank you for taking the time. If you're watching the replay, leave a comment in the sec in the comment section. It still works. I can still come back and, and see it and answer those comments for you. If you want access to the training, send me a private message if you can't see the link on the right-hand side, but it should be there for you. Again, techie, wow, who knows. Um, but thanks again for joining me. Um, if you've got any questions, shoot me a message. I'm happy to answer them. If you're going live, send me a, a link to your live event so that I can pop on and support you and share that to my networks as well. Guys, thank you very much. Uh, got to run, got things to do, places to go. Thanks for joining me. Talk to you really soon. And don't forget to watch out for my social media specialist Facebook page. I'll do a live event on the back end of the Messenger bot so that you can get access to that. Thanks, guys. I'm sorry about the techie stuff in the beginning. It always happens. Doesn't matter how well prepared you are. Um, it just happens. So thanks, guys, for joining me today. Got to run. Got to Send me a PM, put comments in the section box beside here and I'll um, answer them for you. Ciao for now. Thank you for joining me. Bye.